Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to manually simulate an automated warehouse using factory IO. Let's get started. First, open the scene, and then select automated warehouse. This is an automated warehouse scene, with racks consisting of 6 levels, and each level containing 9 locations. That adds up to a total of 54 available locations for pallet placement. Additionally, there are conveyors for material in, and material out, along with carriers that will transport pallets to the destination locations. We will simulate the movement of this automated warehouse manually by adjusting the values of each actuator tag. To show all tag, click view, then select dock all tags. All tags will be displayed, and we can modify the values of each tag to activate or deactivate the actuators. In run mode, activate the load conveyor, and the entry conveyor. When the pallet reaches the end of the load conveyor, turn off the load conveyor. Next, activate forks left to begin picking up the pallet. Then activate the lift actuator. And then release forks left to move the pallet to the center of the carrier. To determine the pallet placement location, go to the target position tag, enter the desired target position. For example, let's type 11 as the target placement location, and then press enter. Once the carrier is in front of the designated shelf, Proceed to activate the fork's right actuator to place the pallet in the rack position. Then, release the lift actuator to lower the pallet, and subsequently release the fork right actuator to return the forks to their initial position. To return the carrier to the home position, go to the target position tag, and change the value to 100. Okay. Now repeat the previous steps for the next pallet. Next, to retrieve a pallet from the rack. First, position the carrier towards the target rack, for example, rack number 11. Once the carrier is in front of the target rack, activate the fork's right actuator to pick up the pallet from the rack. Then, activate the lift actuator to lift the pallet and subsequently release the fork right actuator to position the pallet in the center of the carrier. The pallet is now ready to be transported back to the home position. Next. Place the pallet on the unload conveyor by activating the fork's right actuator, then releasing the lift actuator, and finally releasing the fork's right actuator. Afterward, activate the unload conveyor and the exit conveyor. Perform the same steps to retrieve a pallet from rack number 4.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.